What was your funniest or most memorable moment from filming? Well, we had fun working on this really film. We'd worked together before in the past, and um, yeah. this was our second film together, so that was nice. Yeah, really and we had a laugh. Goal. It's fun working with Mark Forster, the director. He's a very inclusive and mm. open director, so you really feel satisfied that you're creatively involved in, the, in what you're doing and that's mm. something you hopefully always the case but not always the case and yeah. so it, that was fun working with him and I think also he he cast a fantastic group of actors who were able to voice these um, stuffed animals that we're working with so although you're working with inanimate objects you had these these characters come to life by the actors off screen so that helped well the cast is quite wonderful you wouldn't let me have a bigger trailer you see and I, I thought that was ever so nice <laughs> because well, Oh, his was bigger? Bother. Uh, hmm. Define fun. So you've been voicing Winnie the Pooh for over 20 years. How easy is it to slip into the voice? It's very hard. I have to do a lot of preparation with some honey and things like that. Would you teach me? You know, I've often likened his voice to the wind blowing through the cattails. So picture that in your mind. Would you please pass the honey? Would you please pass the honey? Your voice is a little higher than mine, but it's amazing. So you also voice Tigger as well. Would you have to teach me how to do that voice? Well, of course. Just picture yourself very strappity and very bouncy. And the wonderful thing about Tiggers is... Tiggers are wonderful things. Perfect. When you're actually voice recording, do you switch between Winnie the Pooh and Tigger, or do you kind of do one and then do the other? We'd always do Pooh first. I used to go back and forth, but... Uh, Every, every now and then I felt like there might have been a little bleed over, so I just do Pooh first. He's a little more higher pitched, you know, a little less wear and tear on the voice. And Tigger is like dragging a rake across gravel. So I, you know, do him second. Can you do any other impressions that we might recognize? Well, I am the terror that flaps in the night. Darkwing Duck is one of my favorites. And, uh, and I always like Ray from Princess and the Frog. Because you know, the, the women, they like a man with a big back pouch. So Jim Cummings has kind of been trying to teach me how to do the poo voice, but I'm I'm wondering if you guys can do any of the characters' voices. No, but I can do ventriloquism. I stuck inside and I can't get out. Do a bit of a <laughs> what will surprise audiences most about this film? Well, Tigger likes to surprise everyone. Very troublesome habit. Well, I was allowed to do my own stunts, and um, sometimes even on purpose. <laughs> Before we keep going, um, you wouldn't happen to have any um, honey, would you? You know, for me, it was the fact that, uh, you know, Christopher's all grown up and turned into a regular person like, like the rest of us. He had spent so many years saving and protecting them from uh, real and imagined horrors and terrors and situations that it was our turn to go after and, and save Christopher, so I think we did. So the film's got loads of quirky pooisms. Do you have a favourite quote from the film? I like, people say nothing's impossible, but I do nothing every day, which feels like a classic pooism. Mm. Um, and also a great message for today, and a society where we're always so busy and there's so much going on, that actually doing nothing's really hard, I find. So I think that's like a lovely kind of philosophy of poo. I like, I, go, I, I get where I'm going by walking away from where I've been. I don't oh, do know why, you? just because I like it. Oh, yeah. Do you? Do you? That's yes, nice. that's how I do it. <laughs> oh, there was my poo. Not very good. People say nothing is impossible, but I do nothing every day. So, Tigger, I want to know what actually drew you to this project. Well, it's like the role was written for me. I mean, stripes and all, which is why I never read the script. <laughs> why mess with perfection? <laughs> oh, well, well, once Poo said he was doing it, I said, I'm in. <laughs> also, well, uh, I was too afraid to say no. <laughs> well, um, it's not like I'm that busy anyway. So Winnie the Pooh is so iconic. If you could see these characters cross over with any Disney film, what would it be and what can you imagine happening? Poo men, as opposed to X-Men, you know, when you get all <laughs> those. Poo men. So you oh. get Paddington oh. Bear would come in. Poobo, like Dumbo and Pooh oh, together. Yeah? I mean, there'd be definitely lots of cross crossing overs, couldn't there? Yeah. Um, like a whole band of them, a whole troop. Be quite like a quite a <laughs> formidable group. What about the? What, I'm thinking of what other live action films has been the Dalmatians? Was that the Dalmatians? When, that was one. Disney, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, you have 101 Dalmatians and Pooh. And Pooh. <laughs> Plus one Pooh. Well, I think Plus that's a, a, a lot of Pooh in 101. <laughs>
<laughs> all those puppets running around. Yeah. We loved you as Lumiere and Beauty and the Beast. Oh. Would you be up for doing a sequel of that? Yeah, I think they probably should just do Lumiere's story. Mm, you know? Mm, mm. Just Lumiere. Just Lumiere. Yeah. I mean, just a one man band. More songs, more songs. Yeah. I'd be up for it. Yeah, I like that. Star I like doing show. that a lot. Yeah. Are you guys anything like your characters in real life? I look a lot like him. <laughs> yeah. Slightly different hair, but. <laughs> yeah, don't wear a hat so much. Yeah. But I am quite, yes, I don't know. I think your characters are always part, you know, you 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 can't play a part without putting just a lot of, uh, some or all of yourself into it, so. Mm, mm. Mm. I th yeah, I, I would hope to be a bit like Evelyn. I think she's very calm under the circumstances. Kind. I don't think, very kind, yeah, and very understanding and is trying to be the bridge between her husband and her daughter who are both going through. There, it's the three members of the same family who are all, uh, you know, they're sad in their own way and then kind of disconnected from each other. So she's, um, she manages to remain quite stoic, but also kind.